And now, Sports with Vince Bagley on your first alert station. Good evening, Montana. Well, it's an unbelievably exciting time of year in sports for basketball fans. It's hard to imagine what it would be like to be a member of Missoula's Tinkle family, especially with three of them fighting with their different teams to make the NCAA tournament and a fourth family member fighting for a possible state championship. I was lucky enough to catch up with the whole family over the past week. Of course, this is the time of year that they all live for. The Tinkle name has been at the forefront of the Missoula basketball community for the better part of the last 30 years. Current men's head coach Wayne and his wife Lisa were both standout players for the University of Montana and when Wayne returned to Missoula to coach the Grizzlies, he brought with him his three kids, all three of which have turned into exceptional players on the hardwoods. People always ask, gosh, did you just shove it down their throat? And we never did. I mean, Joss and Ellie, I mean, when they were young, they saw me playing overseas and you know, so they had some, some early exposure. And I never once have either of my parents forced it upon us. You know, we, um, we had fun. It wasn't, you know, a eat, sleep, breathe kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, they didn't really push us into a certain sport. They just wanted us to be happy. But I mean, definitely it's a big part of our life. And that's like the first sport we really learned to know how to play. And it just, we all fell in love with it right away. After two state titles in a row at Big Sky High School and two Gatorade Player of the Year honors, it was Jocelyn Tinkle that was the first one to leave the nest. She chose Stanford University to pursue her career. She's not only a starting senior captain for the team right now, but she's knocking on the door of a fourth Final Four. I've always been so proud of her and I don't think I could have had probably a better role model. An outstanding player and the things she's accomplished is just, it's unbelievable. She was always a fantastic kid growing up here. It's no surprise that uh, she's enjoying the success now, and it does make us very, very proud. Just three years later, it was time for Ellie Tinkle to make her basketball decision. And after being an All-State player three years for the Eagles, she decided to take her talents to Gonzaga in Spokane, the same town that her dad went to high school. My, my youngest daughter, Ellie, left this year, and then it was Lisa and I and Trace. Uh, it was just like two by four slapped up against my big head, my girls. It, it, it's just strange because I see her last week and she's, you know, out there in a Gonzaga uniform and I can remember it like yesterday, you know, running the last few seconds down and, you know, giving each other a big hug after we won, you know, the state championship. Well, the two girls might be gone, but the legacy is far from over. Trace Tinkle is only a sophomore right now at Hellgate High School in Missoula, and yet he leads the entire Western AA Conference in scoring. I'm not surprised at all. I mean, Ellie and I always joke about it. He's going to be the best one out of all of us. I think just from, he grew up in a gym. Talk about gym rat, you know. I'm so proud of him. He's really just the biggest gym rat, always in the gym and shooting, and um, he's really worked hard for everything he's done, and so he definitely deserves all that he's getting. I was uh, in my locker room, and my friend freshman year he sent me like I don't even know what grade he was in like a sixth grader seventh grader I don't know sent me like a little picture his like school picture and I have I've, I've hung it in my locker ever since and he just looks like this baby just like and it wasn't even that long ago I come home for Christmas and I don't see him that often and he's another couple inches taller he now you know towers me well there was some pressure and you know he's like you know I don't want to be the weak link and that sort of thing had some doubt uh, he's very focused and, and really works his tail off so I think, you know, if he keeps progressing, you know, he's, he's going to have a lot of opportunity in front of him. The Tinkles will admit that all that talent made for a very competitive household, but they wouldn't have it any other way. Games in the driveway that turned into <laughs> fights maybe. They never ended so well. They were short-lived, that's for sure. Um, we're all very competitive. Knowing they're always going to be your biggest supporters and your number one fans. and Having, you know, an older sister and also I'm learning things from my brother, things that I probably would have never been able to do. Like, when the heck did he start doing, you know, his up and unders? And I'm still amazed by some of the things he's able to do. So we just, I think, learn from each other because we all have our own abilities. Instead of trying to groom the next Tom Brady, you know, or the next Michael Jordan, uh, you know, just try to get them to be responsible young adults. Couldn't be more proud of, um, number one, who they are and what they stand for. All great individuals, uh, great students, and the fact that they're good athletes is really just a bonus. Really great catching up with the whole family this past week. And of course, this is the time of year, super exciting. Three NCAA tournament possibilities for the Olders. And then for Trace, they're going to the uh, state tournament, hopefully. So Sky's the it'll limit. be fun, definitely. No kidding. Great story. Thank, Thank you. you. It was Vince, a lot of fun. Very much. That was fun. We're back in a moment. 